Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Darren Gidman with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you how to play um, two uh, cool, you know, finger picking riffs. They're really easy to play, but they sound really nice and stuff. So if you're, uh, you know, new to guitar and, you know, new to finger picking and stuff, you know, these should uh, be fairly easy for you to pick up and they, they sound really really nice. Uh, one of the things that's cool about finger picking stuff is a lot of times that it sounds and looks more difficult than it actually is so you can play these and you know impress your friends and stuff. So uh, let's get close up and take a look at what we got going on here. Alright so the first uh, one we're going to look at is Coldest Winter's Night uh, by Camelot. So if you if you're looking on your tabs you can see the names of these chords you know you got C major 7 over A, C major 7 over A flat, C major 7 over G. I mean, they, they, they sound like they're complicated, but it's, it's actually really simple. So uh, first off, we're just going to put our third finger onto the seventh fret of the fourth string and our first finger onto the fifth fret of the third string and play strings one and two open. So that's C major 7 over A. So for the picking on this, I'm using my thumb on the uh, fourth string, my first finger on the third string, my second finger on the second string, and my third finger on the first string. So it's P I M I A I M I. So thumb first, second, first, third, first, second, first, and I'm referring to my fin which fingers I'm picking with. Just like that. Then uh, the next measure says C major 7 over A flat. So, so all we do is we're just going to take that note on the 7th fret of the 4th string and move it to the 6th. So instead of your 3rd finger playing it, now it'll be your 2nd finger playing it. The other ones stay the same. Same picking pattern. So, so far... Then uh, next one says C major 7 over G. So if you haven't already guessed it, the same thing. We're going to move this note on the 4th string from the 6th to the 5th fret. But in this case, what we're going to want to do is move that down, but use our 3rd finger to pick up the 5th fret of the 3rd string. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Now the next one is C major 7 over F. So what we're going to do is we're going to move from the 5th fret to the 3rd fret. And this is why we wanted to have this finger here, so we can just reach up. Same picking pattern. So the whole sequence. Alright, so next we've got um, God Bless the Children of the Beast by Motley Crue. So uh, this is um, just a little short instrumental piece that was on uh, uh, their second album. And um, there's like a bunch of soloing and stuff that goes on over the top of this. But if you just play just what's going on in the background, it sounds really nice. So this one starts off exactly the same as the previous one, the same chord. So we're on the fifth fret of the third string with your first finger and the seventh fret of the fourth string with your third finger. And the picking pattern is exactly the same. So thumb first, second, first, third, first, second, first. P-I-M-I-A-I-M-I. -I -I. We have two measures of that. Then the next chord we have on measure three is E minor over G. So it's it's really simple. We're just going to take our third finger and move it from the seventh fret to the fifth, and then put our second finger down on the uh, fourth fret of the third string. So you could also do that. You could and then slide your first finger down one fret and then bring your second finger up, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Two measures of that, same picking pattern. Then we just take that shape and we slide it down 
another whole step. So now our second finger is on the third fret of the fourth string, first finger is on the second fret of the third string. Two measures. Now we slide that down one fret, half step. So now we're on the second fret of the fourth string and the first fret of the third string. So this one's a little different. We do one measure of the same. Then we go thumb, first, second, first, and we move up so our first finger's on the fourth fret of the third string and our third finger's on the sixth fret of the uh, fourth string. And again, thumb, first, second, first, so. starts over again. And it just keeps repeating like that over and over again. So like I said, there's some like soloing and stuff that's going on over the top of it. So this would be a cool one. You could like, you know, loop that part and then just, you know, improvise over the top of it. But I just thought these were both really easy ones to play, and it's just kind of cool how it's just those same chords uh, in both of them in like virtually the same picking pattern. All right, so uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, if you enjoyed this lesson, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if there's something you'd like to see either myself or one of the other instructors at guitarcontrol.com do in a future lesson. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and until next time.